Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, um, which is good. I've been wanting to, I think like I talked about in my last video, it's a goal to not spend so much time on wax and even um, social media in general. And I'm still working on that. Um, if you, Coco, no, no, honey. Coco's here. If you guys haven't seen Coco in a long time, he is full grown. His one, his first, his one birthday, his first birthday is, um, October 14th. So next month and he is so big, huh? Oh, he's so sweet. Um, so he's right here with me. I know I love you too. Um, he's here with me. Um, if you guys follow my Instagram, which I did change its name. I think I talked about that in my last video. My Instagram is Danny's sense and fur babies. Um, oh, hi, Brackley. That's one of the cats. There are, hi, she does not have an upper respiratory infection, just so you know. We have five cats in our house right now. Three are ours. Um, I've posted quite a bit about our three. We have the black cat, her name is Pumpkin Spooks. Um, we have our beautiful Calico, um, and her name is Gingerbread Cookie. We often just call her Gingerbread or Gingy. Um, pumpkin, we often call her Pumpkita or Crazy, because <laughs> she's crazy. Um, and then we have our sweet Mr. Gray that I found outside. Um, and he has just fit in so well to our family. Um, they're all close to six months now ish. Um, they're all completely healed from their one neuter, two spays, microchips, vaccinations. Um, they're doing really well. And then shortly after they got all their surgeries, um, I kept seeing posts in these like foster, groups on Facebook about how overrun the shelters are out here in Utah right now. I'm sure across the country too, um, with animals period. Um, and the small ish shelter by my house, it's like 12 miles away from my house had like 155 cats in it. Um, I would have absolutely taken more in, but I, you know, I, I also have four kids. I work full time, la la la, all that stuff. So I got one little girl from the shelter. Um, her name is Broccoli. My room is a disaster, you guys. And my bed is taken apart because it's in the wash right now. But there's some laundry, some wax boxes, and some of my wax storage. And Broccoli is right there. She's this beautiful, like, I, I think it's called a Calibi. Like, she's, it's like she's a um, Calico, but she has, like, that swirly tabby coloring, too. There's a lot of pictures of her. Um, on my Instagram. Plus I have a highlight about her too. I've never seen a cat with these markings. It's, she's so unreal. Um, when I picked her up, she actually was taken into the shelter the day that I went and got her. Um, they estimated her to be about four months old. We've had her for like two and a half weeks now. Um, when she came in, she was just over three pounds. She felt so bony. Um, there was like no chub on her whatsoever. Her face looked kind of like a fox because there was no, it was like that triangle shape where there was like no fat on her face, which um, her body is filling out, but her face hasn't quite yet. She still kind of looks like a fox. She's running out of the room. Um, and she had a really bad, uh, on her right eye, an eye infection, um, which they gave me eye ointment for. It's completely cleared up. Um, and she was tested for now I'm going to forget the name, but tested for the communicable cat diseases. And she was negative for those. They dewormed her, all the things. This entire time we have been trying to, we kept her and the other cat that I'll tell you about separate from our cats, A, so that they don't get beat up. Our cats are bigger and this is their territory. Um, if any of you have cats, you know how it is to introduce cats. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, we did a whole lot of like, letting them sniff each other's air, like have the foster cats in one room, have our cats have the rest of the house, then let them go in and smell the foster room, you know, all that stuff. And just recently, um, have they been able to like be together without hissing, swatting, all that stuff. Today is like the first completely peaceful day, actually. Um, pumpkin, our black cat is very much the leader of the pack here. Um, she's definitely had the hardest time, um, with us bringing different smells into the house. She's a uh, very smart, quick witted, and she fights really efficiently. Um, so we've had to be very careful with her. 
Mr. Gray had a lot of anxiety at first. Um, lots of like attachment to me. Didn't want me to put him down. Lots of like vocal um, anxiety sounds to me. Um, and now he just cuddles them and loves them so much. Our calico cat, Gingerbread, did some hissing and stuff, but she is, her personality is very gentle. We kind of call her ditzy because she, she's always just kind of like, it's cool guys. Yeah. Like she's like a ditzy beach bum cat. <laughs> she has definitely not like hardly any high intensity situations whatsoever with her. Um, unless she's really got some zoomies or another cat's making her mad on purpose or something. Um, but she's so sweet. So anyways, um, she kind of has taken broccoli in and bro we didn't name her broccoli by the way, the shelter did. <laughs> I think they've run out of like cute cat names cause there's just so many. Anyways, I actually, um, I had to wait five full days after they sent her home with me. Um, for, there's a window just in case an owner actually lost the cat. There's a five day window where they can claim the cat that's posted and say, that's my cat. She got out. I'm going to come get her. So we're out of that window. So I was able to post her and say, Hey guys, I, I went through this shelter. I'm fostering this cat. Is anyone interested in her? Well, a woman that I worked with for a, like many years, she's a nurse, a great nurse. Um, I worked with her in the ICU for a long time. Um, she has a beautiful family. They live about an hour South of me. Um, she wants to, she wants to, um, adopt broccoli and it's always first come first serve, but I have sent her the adoption form online and she does have to drive up here about an hour to come put like a deposit down and sign some papers and stuff. And then I will hold on to broccoli until she is spayed. They have a waiting list, obviously, because there's so many cats, um, but until she is spayed and then she will go home um, once all the paperwork filled out with my friend Imelda. So I'm so excited because I'll be able to like keep up with her because Broccoli is has a really big heart. You can tell that she um, was never a feral cat. Someone dumped her or something horrible because she loves every human she comes in contact with. So, and cat, she loves other cats too. So anyways, we're excited about her. And then we have another little kitten. Her name is Cookie not through the shelter. There was a page on Facebook where this lady said that her granddaughter had gotten this cat. I don't know what the exact situation was, but the parents of the kid were like, no. So grandma took the cat, but then grandma has a German shepherd and that was not going very well. So she had posted on this page asking if someone could just take the cat as soon as possible and help get it adopted out. So I'm still calling her a foster because she's our foster. We're not keeping her. Um, but I haven't had any bites on anyone wanting her for some reason. She is so adorable. Um, you can go, I have a highlight reel on her on my Instagram also. She's this really cool, like muted brown tabby, but with slight calico variations too. Like parts of her stripes are orange and gray and she's so cute. And I don't know if she's part munchkin or part like British short hair or something, but she has this really round like Ewok face. And this really round body and like a little bit shorter legs. Um, so I don't know if she's mixed with something, but she definitely has different features than any of my other cats. Um, and she's so freaking adorable. I don't know why we haven't gotten any bites on her. Um, and she's now like nine and a half weeks old, maybe almost 10 weeks. She is, uh, so Broccoli is super affectionate. Cookie is affectionate. She loves to purr. She loves to make uh, muffins or uh, biscuits on people for a few minutes and then she wants to go sleep by herself. So she, and like during the day at night, she does want to sleep on the bed with humans. Um, but she is just more independent. She likes to play, she loves to be loved and then she wants to go do her thing. So, and some people want animals like that. Um, like my black cat and my gray cat are not in, independent for the most part. They can be, but they take a lot of my time because they need to be hugged and loved and pet and like, they're intense with their need for affection. And um, our calico cat, Gingerbread, is not. She likes affection, but then she wants to be left alone. So anyways, um, I know most of the people that watch my videos don't live in Utah, but she would be amazing to adopt. So we have been busy with that. And then also all four of my kids started school. Um, and we, Jocelyn has her same teacher as last year. She's in her, you know, Jocelyn is my daughter with autism. She's my oldest daughter, um, has her same teacher as last year. Um, she loves her teacher. And then, um, 
So she's in sixth grade this year. That's so crazy. Roslyn is my middle daughter. She's in fourth grade this year. She loves her teacher. I think it's so cool because her teacher, um, she also teaches like a Spanish immersion class. So everything in the classrooms in English and Spanish. And I love that. Roslyn loves that. Um, I just think it's so awesome. And her teacher is so nice. Um, and uh, Rosy reacts to that really well. And then the twins are in third grade this year. And their teacher is super obsessed with Disney, anything Disney. So each of them are in groups. Andre ended up in the Minnie Mouse group and Brianna ended up in the Soli group. And um, everything that's sent home is like Disney themed. And their teacher is a very straight shooter, but also very affectionate. So I like her a lot. Oh, here's my pumpkita. Oh, they got so big. Huh? Oh. She's actually, well, I have... I was going to say she's the smallest cat. She might be longer than gingerbread now, but she's definitely smaller boned. Like she's sleeker. She is, she's needing affection and a lap nap apparently. So we'll see how this goes. Um, this is pumpkin. I would say that, um, I am, have the closest relationship with pumpkin. She is my cat by far. Um, she's just, I call her my familiar because she's just, I don't know. She's spicy like me but she loves really hard and she just, she's protective and she's loyal and that's me and that's her. Oh, my beautiful girl. I just love you. Oh. So anyways, that's Pumpkita. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. Um, I, so I guess there's that, um, Everything else is basically the same. I'm still like working my weekend days full time. My husband's still working during the week full time. Um, hospital like with COVID and stuff has definitely calmed down. Just a lot of post COVID stuff with heart and um, stroke stuff. Um, but it's, I don't want to say nice, but it's, it's much better than it was. Um, so it's interesting to have like these ventilator patients that are all here for different things. Um, it's kind of interesting. So different, uh, better in different ways, but yeah, it's easier in certain ways. Um, if you work in a hospital, you might understand because it's easier that we're not full of COVID patients, but just like every other hospital, we're having staffing issues and all the things too. So don't bump the plug, honey. Come here, my love. Come on. Okay. Um, so anyways, but work overall, it's better than it was. So Anyways, um, this is one of my days off. So I stripped my bed. It's all in the wash. And I wanted to go and throw away all my empties. But I have so many, you guys. Like, this is full, my empties basket. And then I literally have, like, three more handfuls. I don't know. I pro I cannot go into depth with all of these, you guys. Um, so I'm going to just kind of feel it out as I go. But there's just no way um, that I – hold on. Pumpkin just scooted these over. my lap. You, are you going to sleep? Here, you can sit on my lap and you can sleep. Okay, you want to do that? Okay. Okay, so we're going to start talking about wax. Maybe I'll do... Okay, let me just show you this one. Okay, so I can't give you both of my hands this whole time, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go fast because she's gonna get real needy here, real quick. Okay, first large scoopable from this is super crooked now. Large scoopable from L3. Um, I've actually posted on my Instagram about this one multiple times because I love it so much. And of course, just now the name of the creator just fell out of my head. Anyways, um, I I posted her name on my post about this on Instagram, but this was a customer creation from L3. It's called Avatar Kiyoshi, I think. Um, and the oils in here are green clover and aloe and patchouli rain. Patchouli rain, actually both of these oils are kind of old school. Green clover and aloe is a bath and body works type. Patchouli rain is not from what I know of the wax world, but that is an OG oil and it is amazing. I didn't try it for a long time. I think I st uh, tried patchouli rain for the first time, maybe in 2020 or so. And I love it. It's don't be afraid of the name patchouli. Um, it, I don't get a whole lot of patchouli. It's just this really calm, fresh scent. It's not soapy. I wouldn't even say it's super aquatic. It's not 
masculine either. I don't know. It's just this really peaceful spa kind of scent almost, I would say. Um, I got two scoops of this in a pre-order a few months ago. I've already been through this one and I'm halfway through the other one. Um, I even have actually a, a scent melting in my room right now. Miss Love, Miss Love. That um, I kind of made a dupe-ish for it from K's. I did um, patchouli rain, green clover aloe, and I added white clouds to it. And it's very nice. Okay, Miss Love. Okay. Yes, I'm so sorry. Um, so anyways, amazing. Uh, next scoop here. It's just a small scoop from L3. It was in white birch. I used to... I used to really dislike white birch. It's still not my favorite. Um, one thing I like about it is that it's very strong. So a long time ago, it only, it used to smell just like spray deodorant, like generic spray deodorant to me. Now it does kind of have like a perfumey, sexy kind of vibe to it. Almost like a really powdery vanilla musk kind of. Um, so I do like melting it in my room sometimes. I did melt it in the basement once and the kids were like, what is that horrible smell? So they're not fans of it. Um, I don't melt it a lot, but I do enjoy it now, especially like blending it with stuff. Um, next one is Kay's Lullaby and Goodnight. This was from her fresh sampler. Um, this was a customer creation. The oils in here are Bedtime Baby, Clean Cotton, and Downy Blue. I really like this one, mostly because I love Bedtime Baby. Clean Cotton is not one of my favorite laundry oils. Uh, it is a lot of people's. For me, it is so sweet for a laundry oil. I want laundry oils to be like more towards the soapy side, very um, like clean my air kind of thing. I love, um, I love white clouds. Hi, honey. I love um, clothespins. That's my very favorite. So anyways, I really like that one, but it's, I don't melt it for anything clean. It's more for a nice bedtime baby scent. Um, a kind of a moderate thrower, but it's really good. And you can get that actual blend on the website. Next up is Kay's. This is, um, these are her new labels that she's doing right now on her clamshells. This is another customer blend. This is actually a really popular one and you can get this one, um, on the website too, as a blend, as a clamshell. And this is called Emerald Island. And this is beechwood vetiver, seagrass, emerald agave, and coconut milk. Um, I kind of overdid Beechwood Vetiver a couple years ago, and so I'm not a huge fan of it right now. You never know things, you know, go back and forth, but this blend is really good. I don't outwardly get coconut milk or Beechwood Vetiver. I do, because I have melt, I melt a lot of Emerald Agave. Um, I can smell that singularly, um, but the other things are blended so well together. It's just really strong and beautiful and a little perfumey and pretty. So good one. Um, this was a solo oil from Super Tarts in Blackberry. Um, I think she has my favorite Blackberry of all time. It's really just super juicy and delicious. I like her Blackberry and blends too. Um, really enjoyed this one. Would definitely get it again. Liked it a lot. Um, Kay's Capri Seaside Citrus. This one is so interesting to me. Um, when you smell it on cold, it seems like it's kind of going to be weak sauce a little bit. But then you melt it and it absolutely is not. Um, and you put it in blends and it, you think it's going to be too quiet and you need to put like a larger percentage of it in. Absolutely not. This one holds its own. Um, green clover and aloe is kind of like that too. Anyways, to me, this smells like, like a sudsy scent. Like when you're in a bath, not that I really take baths, but like bubbles, like it almost smells like a sudsy bubble scent in the sunshine to me with like cool air blowing by. This is really, really nice. If you want something that's fresh, but it's not soapy, that's gentle, this is really, really nice, you guys. I've been through like six clamshells of this or so, and I'm still not tired of it. I love it. It kind of gives you that peaceful moment. Are you gonna fall asleep like that? Sorry. Are we just, are we doing this? this you guys, I'm telling you, she's very attached. Uh, my husband says it's my fault because I love on them so much, but. Um, this is another clam from Kay's in Strawberry Jam. Really good. I'm very picky about my strawberry scents. I think I've told you guys before that Summer Scoop is my favorite strawberry oil. This is not Summer Scoop, but this is a very legitimate... Um, if you guys 
my favorite kind of jam is like freezer jam. I also like jam with tons of seeds in it. Um, anyways, this kind of smells like a strawberry freezer jam to me. It's really like delectable. It's kind of more gourmand, juicy, yummy. I don't know, but it's, I liked to blend this with like lavender. This is a really good one to blend with a lavender scent. It holds its own and you definitely, it definitely smells like delicious strawberry. So definitely a repurchase. Love that one. Oh, here's the clamshell of just plain lavender from Kay's. I asked her what kind of lavender this was because she just has it labeled as lavender. Um, and it's actually a house blend of like three or four different lavenders. It's really, to me, it's really pretty. It is verging on the herbal side, but there's definitely floral. Um, I think it's really a good mix of an in-between. Um, definitely not super herbal or super floral or essential oily, nothing like that. It's very much in the middle, holds its own, it is very good. Um, sorry, there's so many K's here on the top. This is K's Chocolate Orchid. Um, a lot of you that have been around the wax world, you know that this actually doesn't have any chocolate notes in it. It's like just, it's a really pretty, like body care, uh, fruity floral kind of scent. So if you want just something that's kind of fun and feminine kind of thing, body care, that's what this is. If that's what you want, this totally hits the ticket. Um, it's not my favorite, but when I'm in the mood for something like that, this one is really good. And it's really good in certain blends. Um, there's one, what's the blend from Super Tarts? That is chocolate orchid and blue sugar. I think it used to be called Lucille or something like that. And that together is amazing. I know it sounds weird, but it's really good. Okay, next one up is from um, Kay's is Cafe Latte. This is her newest coffee oil. It's so good. For those of you that have had um, her other coffee oils, I'm a fan of them, but a lot of people thought her previous strongest coffee oil that was called espresso wasn't strong enough in blends. I've heard that a few times. Cafe Latte is even stronger. Now there are, sorry, I only have one hand. Pumpkin. Um, there are other notes in here. It's not just straight coffee, but to me, it definitely handles itself in a straight coffee way. It's almost like a creamy, like if you had black coffee, not quite espresso, but a strong black coffee with just cream in it is kind of what this one smells like to me. And in my opinion, it holds its own and is very strong. Let's see what else I have here before I move on. I did that one. Uh, Super Tarts. This is Lather. I don't know the old names of these ones, guys. Yes. Hi, honey. Yes. You going for a sip right there? Okay. Uh, the notes in lather are shaving cream, ozone, clean beach, citrus, moss, tonka, and blood orange. All notes I would love. I do love the smell of this one. It was just super weak sauce. I could barely smell it. I do love the smell of it is so good. It's definitely like a very light shaving cream, moss, tonka. I even got the touch of blood orange, but it's like a two out of 10. Me and super tarts, you know, I've talked about it before. Um... This was a loaf from Teddy B's in Gran Canaria, and this was her amazing beach treats, peach nectar, jasmine, violets, notes of fresh citrus, and soft woods. To me, this smelled like almost like a really soft laundry softener with her beach treats and with a touch of peach nectar. Really enjoyed this. I melted this a lot in my basement because the laundry softener was fresh enough that it kept it smelling fresh down there. A touch fruity with that peach nectar, and then that beach treats that is like fun, fresh and like delicious at the same time. Her beach treats is amazing. Um, so anyways, I, I really like that one. It's not one that I'm like, I have to have more of like her, um, rain and woods or her Anthony's cabin or her soothe or so many other ones. Um, but I would definitely get it again if she offered it again. So, um, this was a little bunt from L3. Hi honey in watermelon spin cycle snuggle. I think this was in a laundry sampler or something like that. This was okay. Um, a lot of L3's laundry scents are very sweet. She does a lot of like clean cotton. Um, what are some of the other ones? Uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Like April Fresh. Um, anyways, the sweet laundries. But you know, I do have to say, most people don't want the super fresh, strong laundries like I do. I would say in general, people want those sweeter, softer, easier laundries. So I understand the marketing towards that. 
Um, this was a double bunt pack in Salty Siren. This is Mermaid Munchies, Saltwater Princess, Saltwater Mermaid. Um, amazing. I really love all the, all these scents, um, but my favorite is this blend. I'm pretty sure Angela made this one, right? With all three, you probably can't see her against my black top, but she's playing with this. Um, this one I like better than any of them solo. This is my favorite, these three oils. And I really like when um, Fizzy Pop or Ginger Ale is added to this. This is one of my favorite, like when you're getting out of a cold, the cold winter weather and it's starting to warm up, I really like this one. Very strong. Um, this one, I guess it didn't surprise me that I loved this one, but I was surprised at how, excuse me, how good this one was. This was a four pack of the like, the tarts, the fluted tarts from L3. This was Mac Apple Beach Nights and Driftwood. Interestingly enough, this is like an all year round scent because of that Beach Nights and Driftwood. I could not single out Beach Nights. In my opinion, L3 does not have my favorite types of Beach Nights by any chance. She has the really, a lot of people like it, so don't get me wrong, but it's that really quiet one that definitely is stronger on like the, the, beach the salty sea air um but it's so quiet you can I, it, I can barely smell it and then her driftwood is not my favorite solo either um but in the blend it was really good it made that mac apple be more summery I guess she's gonna sleep on my wax bin um so I really liked it I actually went through two packs of that and really enjoyed it this was a loaf from L3, Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, Strawberry Pound Cake, delicious. I think most of this I blended with, with um, Pacific Woods. I'm obsessed with blending strawberry scents with the Pacific Woods and with lavender, um, but this was really good by itself too. I really love Palo Santo with bakery stuff. I love, I love Palo Santo solo. L3, L3 and Teddy B's Palo Santos are so addictive to my nose. I'm very obsessed with them still in the summer, winter, fall, anytime. Um, good thrower. I would get it again. Um, oh, I just posted this morning actually that I, I had purchased two loaves of Salty Mariner from L3. Melted through this one. I just chopped my second one up today. I really hesitated chopping the second one up because, um, I love this oil so much and I can't figure out where else to get it from because I've never smelled it somewhere else. This is, you have to really like salty scents. I do. Um, really a lot. I really, really love salty scents. Um, and this is almost like an aquatic ozonic salty scent and it holds its own. It's not super strong to where it would give anyone a headache, but it's gosh, it's just so it's like you're in like on the beach, maybe in a beach house and like the salty air, like you have all the windows open and the salty air is blowing like curtains all over the place. I don't know. It's stunning to me and I hope she continues to carry it. Um, this was an eight ounce cut bag from K's in Lavender Lemon. I've talked about this one a ton. This is one of my favorite blends from her period for a clean house. Super bright, strong lemon and herbal lavender. It's delicious. It's amazing. I've been through pounds of that oil. Um, oh, this was just a little sample from K's. Um, but I've also gone through multiple clamshells of this one. This is her new odor neutralizer. No, no, honey. It's called her new odor, odor neutralizer oil. It's called Island Breeze. I actually have a couple or well, one blend of this one in my basket right now from K's. Uh, I don't know when I'll put that order in, but it's a really good odor neutralizer. It's, it's more on the floral side, but it's very pretty. I think I'm going to blend it with a soap of some sort. I think right now I have it blended with Caress, but I might blend it with um, Ivory also. I just, I blend ivory with everything. I actually have it melting in my bathroom solo right now. I'm obsessed with ivory. I love it so much. Um, but I'm also obsessed with Caress. And she, I think Carla is the only one that has that oil, the one that actually smells like the soap anyway, right now. Um, and I think I might blend it with this because that one is a little more floral also. So anyways, give this one a try though, because it's really good. Um, this was another loaf from L3 in Rosemary Mint, Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel. Was this one also Angela? I think Angela also made this one. I could be wrong. Amazing. Um, would definitely get this one again. I think I also had this one in two large scoops that I've used both of too. So if that tells you anything. Um, my beautiful friend Dawn had sent me quite a while ago, Super Tarts Rain Sampler. 
I have enjoyed every single one of these. The only one that was kind of weak sauce for me, sadly, was the Rain and Palo Santo blend from her. Um, that one was kind of weak sauce. Like the Palo Santo did not come out. I don't know why. Um, and interestingly enough, because, sorry, my nose is like so itchy all of a sudden. I don't know why. Um, I am not a huge cucumber fan in wax only because... I love cucumbers as food, but if it smells like a cucumber is like warm and been sitting out for a while, I just, my mind goes to like, I need to scrub things and it grosses me out. And sometimes it'll do that in wax. This was amazing. Um, I don't know if she has a scent that is just rain and cucumber or if it's just for the sampler, but if she does this again, I need to get a lot of it because it's really good. And then her rain and lemon curd was great also. Very strong. The lemon curd is delicious. I just didn't like it as much as the cucumber, but this was really good also. Um, this is L3. This was just a Bitty Betty Loaf in Palo Santo. I got four of them total. This one's completely melted through. I have a tiny bit left of the second, and then I have two more, um, which I think should be okay enough for me through the fall and winter to blend, um, to amp up Palo Santo and other things. Um, but L3's Palo Santo really comes out in a lot of her blends. Um, I mostly use it to add to other vendors wax because her Palo Santo is a little bit more like super dry woody and it really stands out. So I enjoy it a lot. Um, this is Kay's Windy Shores. This was also from her fresh um, sampler. This is Island Fresh Gain, Blue Musk and Lever 2000. Her Blue Musk oil you cannot get solo, but it is in her customs list. Just so you know, this is very good. To me, um, similar but different, the one that people have been talking a ton about since her fresh sampler was out was called Sky Zone. I think this is the most similar to Sky Zone in the vibe that you get because it's like a soapy, fresh air scent. I like Sky Zone a touch more, I think, because Sky Zone has ivory in it. Um, but this, and I don't like Island Fresh Gain as much, but this is very strong and very soapy, but beautiful. Um, it's a little more powdery. Uh, cause Island Fresh Gain to me is powdery to my nose. And that's what makes this smell like that. Blue Musk, I feel like kind of quiets things down a little bit, adds a touch of masculinity, like the, almost like a shaving cream. It almost gives you the vibe of shaving cream. Um, and then Lever 2000. So, so this is delicious. Um, I would get it again. Okay. I need to go through these faster guys. A cuts bag from probably two years ago. This was from Kay's Blue Sugar, Beechwood Vetiver, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Very nice, cozy. I would, if I came upon wanting that blend again, I would get it. Uh, Windswept. This was a custom of mine from Kay's. This was an eight ounce K cuts. This was Swedish Dream Salt, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, and Kai. That um, perfume oil dupe. This was amazing. Um, I am a huge lover of Swedish Dream Salt. So, once again, I love salty scents. <clears throat> this is from that smell good shop, the dark crystal lavender and baked cookies. This was great because the lavender is great. I didn't really smell any baked cookies in here. Maybe it was just keeping that super herbal lavender quieter or more smooth. I'm not sure, but really liked this because the lavender was so good. And that smell good shop always performs. So, um, this was a sample from, um, British creepy treasures. And this one's called Hellraiser. Steel Sugar, Sauvage Dior, and Flannel Sheets. Obviously, I loved it. It has Flannel Sheets and Sauvage. So, very good. Um, this one was a loaf of Today is October 3rd from L3. I think everyone knows what that one is, but it's Palo Santer. Santer. Palo Santer. Palo Santo. Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Malo. Um, I was looking actually through my collection today. And I only have one loaf left of it. That's pretty crazy. I don't even know how many loaves I've gone through of this. I would guess seven or eight since my beginning of the wax world. I don't know. Um, this is a clamshell from Kay's in Honeymoon Hideaway. So good, you guys. This is exotic coconut, calla lily, and butt naked. If you want to smell like you are, like you have left reality and gone to a island getaway this is it sometimes at night like when I go to sleep and like things have been stressful or whatever I like to put a scent like this on you know versus like mint or lavender things like that which I love too at night when I need my mind to not be thinking of like current happenings um if that makes sense so this was good for that very strong 
really good. Definitely would get it again. Uh, this was from Vintage Chic. This is Rosemary's Baby. This is Herbal Lavender and Crisp Mint. I believe that my friend Candy gave this to me. Really good. Um, the Herbal Lavender in here is so herbal and so good. Hi, Missing. Yes, I see that you are back. Okay, we're going to do a lap nap again. Okay, perfect. Um, so this smells so good in the bag. The mint in here is crisp and really delicious. It just didn't throw for me very well. And I put it in my basement. Most things throw better in my basement because there's not as much airflow um, down there. And so things that are lower throwing, I'll put down there in general. Um, not always. So don't think if I post that I put it in the basement, that means it's a low thrower. That's not true. Um, but stuff that is more low throwing, I, I tend to put it downstairs more. Um, and I still could like barely get a hint of mint. So vintage chic. There's like a handful of things that will that will throw super well for me, but in general it doesn't. So, hi Lev, yes, hi. Um, so, anyways, that one is there's that. Uh, this is a probably over two years old custom from K's. This is I call this the Dang Thing, and this was Viva La Juicy Birch and Black Pepper and Liquid Cashmere Black. This was so good. I definitely melted that one in my room quite a bit. It was just kind of a sexy perfumey scent that I really liked. She has a really good Viva La Juicy oil, you guys. If you ever crave that or want that, hers is really good. I don't know what my phone just did. I hope it, it looks like it's still recording. Okay, I'm gonna start hurrying. Um, this was from Teddy B's a long time ago. Um, my a different Dawn had friend Dawn sent this to me. This is Palo Santo and Vanilla Clouds. This is Palo Santo layered with icy vanilla woods and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. So this definitely had a really strong, like masculine tree scent that I see Vanilla Woods, her amazing Palo Santo and Marshmallow Clouds, uh, which is like Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. So it was really good. Probably like I went through it, really enjoyed it, but probably not when I'd grab again, not because I disliked it. It's just, let's be real. Tiffany has so many amazing things. Like it's hard to decide what to get because everything is so good that you have to not buy really good things sometimes because there's so many amazing other things, if that makes sense. Um, this was from Hayden Rowe. This was a knot bar, I think in Duchess and Duchess is like a delicate laundry and lavender. And I think the lavender in this one is like the tassie, the lavender tassie. So it's a really herbal lavender with a beautiful soft, um, laundry. So really good. Oh, sorry, Coco. Um, Always sad when I have a used up bag of Soothe from Teddy B's. Soothe is sweet lavender, cotton and cashmere with green clover and aloe. Obsessed. I have tried to replicate this so many times with different customs. Never the same. It's amazing. Um, this is uh, from a loaf from L3. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Palo Santo, coffee bean. Also, I chopped a, my backup loaf of this this morning, melted it for like the morning melt. I love this one so much. Um, I can kind of get sick of cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's a very strong kind of overwhelming scent. But the good thing about that is it always throws for me. Um, and then once again, L3's Palo Santo that I love so much. Coffee bean is not my favorite, but in this blend, it's really good. Um, it's just a really comforting coffee Palo Santo blend. I would definitely get it again. Large clamshell from the bathing garden. This is in Cindy Lou Who. Um, the I the notes in here are like musk, lilac, lavender. She it it's based on I think Cindy Lou Who from the Grinch movie, like Christmas. But this is a year round scent for sure. Um, it's like a a fluffy floral laundry musky kind of situation. Um, it's soft but it's pretty. Um, so definitely one I like. And she always makes it like really just cute with like lollipops and sorry, there's a jet flying over lollipops and sprinkles and glitters and pink and just so cute. So love that one. Um, this, oh, I really like this one. So I'm not a huge fan of blueberry. You guys know that, but this was a loaf from L3 in blueberry cobbler, coffee bean, sugar cookie Royale. Um, this was good. I'm usually blueberry cobbler from different vendors. I do not like that oil. There is something about the blueberry in that oil that it doesn't smell like candy. It doesn't smell like a real blueberry. It does not smell good. Um, but blended with the coffee bean and sugar cookie royale, totally enjoyed it. Would get it again. Winter snooze. Love. 
from L3. Um, just to update you guys, if you don't know, Winter Snooze is Icy Peppermint Herbal Lavender Chamomile. Um, I've been through like four loaves of that. My really good friend, uh, Vivian, um, sorry, that jet is so loud, sent me a bunch of loaves of it because her, um, I, some of her family, I think her husband doesn't enjoy it there. And so I am set on Winter Snooze and I am so happy because I will never get sick of that one. It's a beautiful herbal lavender mint and you really do get that chamomile 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 um in there so it's this really calming just beautiful lavender blend so love it um this is a large clamshell from walmart it's from this is from sensationals in zen i this is probably one of my very favorite walmart like uh melts that is all year round this is definitely i don't know if they have the notes inside here they it just, it just says this fragrance is part of the fresh family. It's definitely a spa blend, but there is mint in this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like a soft, like eucalyptus, very soft soap maybe. And like a soft mint. It's just, gosh, this is so good. It, I like crave this scent and it throws well. It's pretty, you could, I often melt this in my bathroom. But you could definitely melt this all over the house. Um, Really good. Oh, my leg is falling asleep, little Miss Thing. Um, this was from the pharmacist's daughter, fresh as a daisy. Summer linen, passion fruit, pink patchouli, jasmine, honey, and vanilla. I still think this is um, a definition of a laundry softener somewhere because this does smell like a laundry softener, but like a really girly one. Um, this was super strong. I feel like the pharmacist's daughter, their laundry blends or things that smell like laundry are always like killer strong. And this one definitely was not a super love of mine, but one I might pick up again. Um, this is from L3 Waxy Wonders. This was a loaf of buttermint peppermint. I think this was a blend from um, Emily, I believe. Yes, I believe she loves her some buttermint. Um, so good. I melted the last of this last night, I think. Um, very strong. Icy peppermint, but that buttermint has just an edge on it to make it a touch sweet and just really yummy, but peaceful, really strong, really good. This is the clamshell from Super Tarts and Winds in the East. And this is just her rain oil and a strawberry oil. So obviously I liked it. Anything with her rain. I do enjoy most of her blends that say strawberry. I like it. I like it. I'm not exactly sure which oil it is, but it's a good one. Um, this one, interestingly enough for her rain blends, it wasn't very strong for me. Usually her rain blends are, I can at least get the vibe of what they are because I'm so familiar with the rain oil. Um, this one wasn't very strong for me though, but I love how it smells. So I might get it again and just like try to melt it in different places in my house and try to figure out maybe if it works somewhere because I love it so much. I don't know. Um, this is from Rose Girls. This was a mini melters bag and don't be salty. This is cucumber, rain, and salty sea air. Once again, I usually don't like cucumber in wax, but I love this one. I think because it's definitely a salty blend and it helps that cucumber for me. Strong, love it. This is an eight ounce cuts bag from K's and Winter Fairies. This was peppermint stick, lavender linen, and flannel sheets. Loved this one. Um, in fact, a few different people had cut over for different reasons at different times when I was melting this one. And I got asked multiple times, what is that? So I think it's kind of a, like a mainstream, it can be a mainstream favorite is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is another case cut, eight ounce custom called Getting Caught in the Rain. This is Swedish Dream Salt, Sea Island Cotton and Raindrops. Sea Island Cotton is the Bath and Body Works type. Raindrops is that really like floral spring rain kind of vibe. This one, um, I really like, it got better with time. The last two pieces that I melted were my favorite melt of this. I think I would definitely get this one again. I might just mix up the ratios a little bit um, to where the, I think I made the Swedish Dream Salt the strongest thing here. Um, I might make the other two a little bit stronger next time, but this was really good if you like that kind of thing. Um, snoo this is from uh, Super Tarts. This is Snooze and Black Rain. Her Black Rain is her blackberry and her rain oil together. And then Snooze is Herbal Lavender Marshmallow, I believe. Um, so this was good. Sadly, this was another one. 
where, I mean, I mostly smell that blackberry and rain when I open this. I don't really smell any lavender. Um, I never really did. I guess the marshmallow I can smell because it's like the, it makes the blackberry sweeter. But when I was melting it, it wasn't very strong. I have another clamshell or two of it. I just might need to melt it like in a small area because I didn't get very much throw from it. So, um, oh, so sad, but I have another loaf of this that I've already cut. Teddy B's Christmas Trees and Cream and Crushed Candy Canes. Her Christmas Trees and Cream is fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich vanilla buttercream layered with sweet sugar and candy canes. Um, if you guys don't have a lot of experience with Teddy B's, her crushed candy cane oil is the best dupe of Bath & Byers Crushed Candy Cane Candle, which is my favorite candle of all time. Um, it's amazing. She has the best oil and this together is like magical. I've been through three or four loaves of it now. I melt this scent year round. I know it seems like a Christmas scent and it does smell like Christmas, but also to me, it's just like this, such like this clean tree scent with vanilla buttercream and crushed candy canes. I don't know. I often crave it at bedtime also just for a comfort scent. Um, it throws every time. It's just it's very special. A lot of Tiffany scents are very special to me. Like they're very nostalgic and like they, they just smell special and make me feel better when I melt them. And that's one of them. Uh, the next one here from Rose Girls, it's a mini melter bag. It's called Daydreams. This is fluffy towels, lavender, fresh linen, and Swedish dream salt. <clears throat> Loved this one. I would get bags of this one. <clears throat> this is a very strong one. Loved it. <clears throat> Sorry. This was a loaf from Hayden Row in Beach Pine. Very strong, good for cleaning day. It definitely has like a strong oceanic, more astringent kind of air with pine. So if you like astringent fresh scents, which I do, you would love this one. Almost everything from Hayden Row throws 10 out of 10 for me. This one does. Amazing. Would it get it again? This one, I need to figure out what this oil is from Hayden Row because I really love it. Mountain Mist. I do not have the notes written down. This is like an aquatic masculine scent to me, but also outdoorsy. I don't know if she blended some oils together or this is a solo oil. I've smelled things similar to it, but I've never smelled this before. The aquatic element to it does smell similar to November Rain-ish. So I don't know if it's November Rain mixed with something or not. No, it's not. I don't know, but this is really good. It, it smells like a misty mountain side in the fall. It's really good. I don't know what it is, but if you like similar scents to me, um, you would really like that one and it's very strong. Um, this is a clamshell from Kay's in Hay Sailor. The notes or the oils in here are black sea, winter linen, and black currant absinthe. I believe this was a creation from um, one of Carla's employees, Connie. Um, I think she made it after her dad or grandpa is that my dryer sorry I heard a sound I know I do that in videos all the time but I'm always like I have to remember there's four cats out there so mm, so good um it's interesting because when I first got this clamshell I definitely was like gosh I mostly smell like like 80% winter linen which is interesting because black sea is a very strong oil and black currant absinthe is just about the strongest oil in the wax world it's insane Oh, this is so good. Mm, this makes me want to get more of it. This is just, uh, it's a very good oil. It's kind of like this earthy, masculine, fresh, but dark, but I don't know, amazingness. Really good and throws like incredibly strong. So much, you guys, so much. Um, oh, I really like this one from Super Tarts. This is Cat Lady. Welcome. Um, this is Rain surprise, surprise, mistletoe, cranberry, and mint. Um, I, the cat lady is the new name. I don't know what the original name was. I know that you hear those notes and you think Christmas, but the rain makes it not so, but when you smell it, you definitely get the rain first and you do get like a mistletoe greenery vibe. And there's a, the cranberry may add something like tart fruity, but not necessarily cranberry unless you knew it. And I definitely don't get mint, but this is beautiful. I would get more of it. Um, I actually blended these two. This was from a Rose Girls Fresh Sampler. I don't know if it was last summer or the summer before, 
but I just had a couple little pieces of speechless and clothes on the line left. So I mixed them together, melted them together really strong. Clothes on the line is a, just a laundry oil and her speechless is her Satsuma Rain and oh my gosh, how can I forget? Satsuma Rain and how have I forgotten what is in speechless? And oh, God, what is that one? It's that really green, fresh green. Oh my goodness. Kale. Coastal Kale. Coastal Kale, Rain, and Satsuma. Um, I like Speechless. It's just that to me, it's not super fresh. Uh, it's Satsuma for me. Satsuma is not always the freshest oil to me. And that's across the board vendor wise. I am very alone on that. Sorry, my leg is falling asleep, honey. I got to readjust you. Ooh. Um, So it's not my favorite, but I love blending it with like a laundry oil. And, and it, one thing about her Speechless blend is it lasts for days. It's a very, that coastal kale is a very strong oil. Love it. Um, this was a chunk bag from Rose Girls that a long time ago, my friend gave to me. In fact, this is her writing a notes on the back. I'm sure you guys follow her. Um, this was kissing in the rain. This is a love of mine. I know not everybody, this isn't a favorite of everybody from Rose Girls, but this is another nostalgic, just love for me. Um, if I can even remember kissing in the rain is like, is it dewy spring florals, rain, and something else? Um, oh, it's so good. So strong. I just have memories of that. It just really smells like a misty, cool spring rainstorm. Like big, fat raindrops on petals. Just smells really good. Um, this was, oh, this was a puppy pack from L3. And this is in the Anita Sol de Janeiro type. Um, if you follow music, Anita is a... Is she, I don't know if she's Mexican, but she does make music in Spanish. I'm not sure if that's if, what country she's from. I'm sorry. If she's from, is she from Mexico? Anyways, Sol de Janeiro had her make like a limited edition, um, like twist on the Sol de Janeiro scent. And this one was like different fruits and patchouli. It was a little bit more perfumey. Not my favorite from L3, honestly. And really this version, I had a sample of it from Sephora and it just wasn't my favorite version of um, Sol de Janeiro. Uh, I think honestly, the original like Boom Boom is my favorite Sol de Janeiro scent, so. Okay, we are getting down here, guys. Um, oh man, I love this one. So I have, if you guys have followed me once again, sorry I keep itching my nose. I, I don't know if I'm like allergic to one of these wax scents or what, but. It's only when I started the video did my nose start itching. Um, this was probably my favorite lavender strawberry blend that I ended up making in my lavender strawberry obsession of this last year. Um, and this is from Kay's and this is her strawberry white cake oil and her house lavender. This was better than the other one I made was her succulent strawberry lavender and something else. This was even better. Um, I will definitely get a loaf of this at some point. This is so good. Love that one. Very strong. Um, this was really good. Uh, this was a Kay's, um, custom of mine called where to next. The oils I used here are tobacco leaf and amber Lord of misrule and bourbon and butterscotch. If you are an earthy lover, um, or a tobacco scent lover, you must try her tobacco leaf and amber oil. It is by far my favorite tobacco oil of any vendor out there. It's amazing, solo. It's also so good in blends. In fact, I think I like it best solo, um, but it's also really good in blends. It's just so smooth. It has like honey in it. There's almost like a vanillic note to it, but you definitely get that earthy tobacco. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's sexy and just beautiful and strong and amazing. I love it. Um. If anyone can help me out, this is from the bathing garden. Um, it's a sample called the winter court. Um, I have searched her website. I even just went to Google and searched. I could not figure without what the scent is. And I really, really liked it. Um, I can't even explain. It's like tree, maybe mint. I really don't know, but it's really good. Um, I don't know if this was based on the, the winter court based on the, the books you know, the vampire books, once again, I forget, um, that have like the spring court, winter court, night court. I'm a night court girl. Um, 
Anyways, this is really good. If anyone knows the notes, let me know. This was from Rose Girls. It was one of those like little Christmas stars that she makes around the holiday um, in Christmas morning sex. I have talked about this scent so many times. This is her morning sex oil and her amazing, fabulous icy peppermint oil. Her morning sex oil, for those that don't know, is like a masculine spa, aquatic. To me, it's not that masculine. I know other people say it is. Um, it's an amazing oil that still no other vendor has ever had. I don't know what it is. I don't know if she blends it herself. I literally do not know what the oil is. And I feel like I've been around for a while. Um, and I don't know what it is. It's amazing. Um, it's one of those oils that if I had to settle on an oil for my house to smell like, like every room in the house, my entire house to smell like for the rest of forever, that could be one of them. That's much I like it. Always strong, always amazing. This was a custom cuts from Carla from K's long time ago, multiple years ago, I think. I called this one Blackberry Earth. This was in Blackberry Frankincense, Blackberry Sugared Violets, and Black Currant Absinthe. Very earthy, very blackberry, very deep. This was a great end of summer, early fall kind of thing. Um, I melted the last couple pieces a couple weeks ago. It was still strong and amazing. If you guys are wanting something that is so strong and kind of edgy and deep, almost witchy-ish as the fall comes down to it, like comes up, give black currant absinthe a try. Just give it a try. I want, I'd love to hear what you think about it. Um, this is a love of mine from L3, the no Nocturne Alley. This is like a, the, like a raindrops oil, um, like a spring rain floral scent mixed with marshmallow fireside. I know that's so weird. It works though. And I've melted so many of her like Harry Potter owls of it. Still not sick of it. Um, this was a fluted tart bag in Seattle rain, toasted mallow, lavender. I love this one. Loved this one. I would definitely get a loaf or something of this. Um, cause I liked it so much. This is a clamshell and haunted house season from K's. It's a custom of mine. Amazing oils of hers. Apple clove butter. Amazing. Fallen leaves and pumpkin pecan waffles. One of still one of my very favorite fall scents of all time. Uh, this is from that Smell Good shop. It was one of the 12 packs of those little squares in the Dark Crystal again, lavender and baked cookies. We already talked about that. Um, the Pharmacist Daughter Coastal Waters. This um, is at least coastal kale. I don't know if anything else is added to it, but the notes here are lemon, marine air, musk, and amber. This smells a lot like coastal kale. It might have something added to it, but... It might just be coastal kale. I'm not exactly sure, but I love coastal kale. It always throws so strong and for so long. So of course I love this one. If they offered again solo like this, I'd probably get some. I am still so excited. I don't know if you guys, um, I can't remember when, but they opened their like Halloween advent pre-order. It's probably been a couple months ago or so. Um, time kind of evades me lately. Um, but Last year I did their whole Halloween advent and it was like a hundred dollars or so. This year I kind of picked and choosed um scents that I loved from last year and then scents that were new for this year. And I bought like doubles and triples of a couple of the ones that I really enjoyed from last year. Um anyways, I'm so excited for that to come because their Halloween advent was like freaking epic. Um, so good. And I posted about this. I was so sad. So when um, Britta did put out her Halloween advent, which is beyond epic, um, my PayPal was like, I had to, I was going to do the pay in four. I do a lot of the pay in fours so that I can kind of just pay things off over time, whatever. Um, it charged me like three separate times. And this was not Britta's website. This was PayPal. Charged me three separate times for the full amount even though every time I clicked the choice pay in four, she was so nice to reimburse me. And then it ended up, she had to close because I think she sold out and like whatever. I didn't end up getting my hands on it and it was not Britta's fault whatsoever. She did her part by reimbursing me. I bugged her to death, I'm sure. She's amazing. I feel so bad. I wanted one. I can't remember if she does like after the pre-order, she sells any in RTS. I don't think so, but I could be wrong on that. If she does and I am able to see it, 
Um, I'm going to try to get my hands on one. If you guys got your hands on one, feel very lucky because you are in for a freaking epic fall Halloween treat. So, uh, feel lucky. Very last one, little friend sampler from my friend Candy, um, sample, sorry, from Teddy Bees, the three eyed Raven. Amazing. This one's like cool air. Anytime, anytime Teddy Bees puts cold air or cool air in as a note, you're in for a treat. Um, but this is like Palo Santo, lavender, there might be a Trino in there. I'm not sure. And then like cold air. It's so good. You guys, it's like a rugged lavender scent. Um, love this one for some reason in the last pre-order, not the one that just happened. I did not see that it was offered or if I did, I decided to get new stuff, even though I love that one. I don't know, but I didn't get any and I'm dumb. I should have, cause that one's amazing. Anyways, this is an hour long video just now. That was so many empties that wasn't even all my empties because every once in a while like when the mornings were busy I didn't even always have time to go back and put it in my empties basket some of them I just threw away and then my basket was so over full some of them landed in the garbage next to it like that's not even all my empties um I will say that my wax bins aren't packed as tightly as they used to be they're still pretty full oh here comes Mr. Gray um but they're not as overflowing ish so that's good. Um, if you guys have noticed, I have way cut back on my wax orders. I do still pretty regularly order from Kay's, um, just cause she has so many, so much availability. Like it's hard to just say no. Um, I've been really good at not ordering from L3 because that sucks me into a whole different reality that I just, um, she's good at marketing. Jennifer, <laughs> she does a really, she's really good at her job. Um, and her wax always performs for me. And it's so great. I'm still a part of the L3 group, but I have it like muted because that's going to make me go bankrupt. Um, love her stuff though, but I haven't ordered from L3 in a while and it's, that's good. Also from Rose Girls because that wax is amazing too. And I needed to stay away from that for a while. Um, I haven't ordered from Hayden Rowan forever because same thing. Um, so from K's for sure. And then I did take part in Teddy B's pre-order. I took part, uh, I take part in super tarts, like little pre-orders here and there. And it's like lately, if you've looked on my Instagram, it's like maybe six clamshells at a time, maybe a bam bag and three clamshells, things like that. Um, I did partake in her Fright Night pre-order and it's, it was all clamshells. There was no bags and it still wasn't that much. Um, she just had a little pre-order and uh, a friend told me I needed to try her Iron Islands. So I put a couple clamshells of that in there. Oh, and Barrett's Wax Crafts. I did his pre-order. I actually just got the shipping email yesterday or the day before. All I got on that one though, I got like a pound bag of his cool linen and lavender and then like a small four pack of his snoozy melts. That's it. His wax is amazing, you guys. If he does another pre-order, definitely look out for that. Um, I, that is it. I have been very, very, very good. And so oh, here's my Mr. Gray. You guys, he's gotten so big. If you haven't seen it on Instagram, um, when they went and got, when he got neutered with the girls, look at that handsome boy. Um, they actually aged him for me so that, because you know, I found him outside. If you look way back on my Instagram, you can see what he looks like when I first got him. They actually think he's almost a month younger than, uh, gingerbread and pumpkin, which is crazy. So that means when I found him, he was more like four weeks old. Um, and he is two pounds bigger than the girls. Um, and yes, he's a male cat, but that means when he got fixed, they thought that he was not even quite five months old and he was almost seven pounds at five months old. I am very interested to see how big this cat is going to get. Um, in the beginning, ginger was much thicker and meatier than the other cats. But I think now she's going to be as far as frame goes small. So we'll see. But anyways, Mr. Gray is a big boy. He's big. And he is probably, even though pumpkins like obsessed with me and obsessed with us, he's probably the most cuddly, lovey, sweet cat of like very just cuddly. He's very, um, like emotional. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, so we love having him as part of our family. He's now bathing himself. Um, anyways, 
on a tangent about the cats. I could always be. But that's that's it for wax. Um, that's why I felt okay kind of going bigger on the Teddy Bees. I got four loaves, five or six tubs, and like five souffles or something. I listed it on my Instagram. Um, I honestly think only two of the scents have I had before. It was like Winter Farmhouse. I ordered a loaf of that. I needed that. And I ordered a loaf of crushed candy canes and um, Christmas trees and cream. Those, I think those are the only repeats. Everything else was new. There were so many scents, you guys, that were so amazing. I'm most excited to smell the North. Um, the Dragon something. That one looks so unique. I just got a tub of that one. I got a um, loaf in the North. And then I got a loaf of this one called like Christmas cup of Christmas morning or something like that. And it's like chai and coffee and toasted marshmallow. I think I can't even remember, but those three are the ones that like my head is telling me I'm like most excited for, but there's so many. Um, one of the souffles I got was called creep show. That one sounds amazing too. What was the other one? There was one called like snow white or lady snow or something like that. That sounded amazing too. I don't know. So many, I put the list on my Instagram. Um, but now I'm blabbing. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I know I don't make nearly as many videos. I'm sorry. I do get a lot of messages about that. Um, it's my personal choice. Um, I think something too that uh, people maybe don't take advantage of or notice. Um, I will get a lot of messages saying like, can you make a video about this vendor or this vendor or this vendor? I made so many videos. I have somewhere between 200 and 300 videos. Almost all about wax, you guys. <laughs> Um, I guarantee if there's a vendor you want to know about, I will have covered at least some of what you want to know in those videos. So go back into my playlist or my videos. I don't know if that sounds mean of me. I'm sorry. Um, I spent so much money and time on wax and not, I'm not going to be doing that going forward. Um, I will be making videos if my, like, like my Teddy bees, because that order is big enough to make a, val a valid video. Um, I will make videos. I'm going to be doing wax empty videos, but you know, it's, you can't spend that much time, money and energy on that forever. And so I can't, um, if that makes sense. Um, I hope you can understand that. I still love wax and scent just as much, just as much. I love talking about it. I just can't spend so much of my time on it. So Anyways, there's that. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone's excited for the upcoming fall. I know I definitely am. It's going to be like 100 degrees here all week. Not excited about that. Um, anyways, we'll see you guys later. Bye.